Welcome to People Passion Power Agent Series. I'm your host, Jason Martin. This week, we're going to sit down and talk with John Coleman, who's one of the top buyer agents in all of D.C. In fact, his goal for this year is 100 transactions. Can you imagine? So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below before we get started. It lets us know you're interested in what we're putting out there. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's roll. All right, you're watching People, Passion, Power with Jason Martin. We're two guys that are passionate about real estate and we're super passionate about understanding how people grow their business. And we've got a member of the Jason Martin Group here, John Coleman, who is an absolute stud in the industry. I'll say that on your behalf. You cool with that? I mean, we're talking about passion, me being a stud. <laughs> this, is all, this is all riveting already. I love yeah. it. We're in a lot of conversations about how do people take their careers from one spot to the next. And, and you and I have worked closely together over the years. So I thought we'd share a little bit about your story mm -hmm. um, and, and your background. So just take a, a couple of minutes. Four, four and a half years ago, you weren't in the industry. And this year, you're thinking about doing 100 transactions. That's your goal, to do 100 transactions. Um, but yet, four and a half years ago, you weren't in the industry. Correct. How's it go from there to this? How do you go from thinking about 100 transactions to zero transactions four and a half years ago? Uh, I kind of feel, you've seen Forrest Gump, right? Of course. You know, and like he's putting the gun together and like the lieutenant is like, Gump, how'd you put that gun together so quick? And he's just like, I do it. You tell me to drill sergeant. It's kind of like that. Like if you surround yourself with the right knowledge and you look to the right people, it's all there. Like none of this is new. None of this is hard. Other people have done what I've done before and many people are going to do it after me. It's about taking the knowledge you have in front of you and what's available. It's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's on all those places, and just applying it to how you do business and rolling from there. So year one for you, I think you did six or eight transactions in your first year, something like that -ish. Sort of. I mean, the first year I was your showing assistant. Yeah. So like I showed properties for you. So I... I kind of took a leap of faith from one job that I wasn't necessarily enjoying that much and talked with my wife, Fish, and we decided that it's worth the risk and financially we could try to swing it and see what happens. And you drew up some numbers on a page for me and I was like, eh, if he's half as right as he was there, then we can, we could, we could survive. And so let's try it out. All right, so John, let's just talk about this because your trajectory, um, and I get to work closely with you, so it's a lot of fun. Your trajectory has gone like this, mm -hmm. and you're one of the top agents in D.C. right now, certainly one of the top buyer agents in all of the District of Columbia. Um, how do you go from 12 to 24 to 36 to talking about 100 units? Um, that's rapid, rapid growth. You're doubling, you're tripling your production each year, and that's there's something to that. What is that? Authenticity and caring, and staying in touch with your network. So I, we're about ninety percent referral based, or like people that we work with based off sphere and and referral. So the people that we work with continues to grow, and that's because there's more people we work with. They get to see kind of the proof is in the pudding, that we care, that we go out there, that we try hard. Uh, and then they start telling their friends and it's, it's, it's an expanding effect. And the better you take care of people, the better it goes. I mean, there's the old kind of adage that you hear when we used to go to conferences uh, that there were said like 80 something percent of people liked the agent enough at least that they worked with to buy a house, but only like 9% ever used them again. Yeah. And that's sad. Like you're you're helping people with one of the most important transactions of their life, and you, know, you just don't want to like kind of fade in the sunset. Um, it's hard keeping up with people, but if you make it a purpose and a passion and a power to to move that forward, it's it's something that's good. And in all honesty, it's helped me kind of become a better friend to more people. Is making sure I'm concentrating 
working with people and not only being there through the sale, but afterwards following up with people and making sure that everything that they need is taken care of, if they have questions. Uh, people text and reach out to me all the time asking me for help, and that's what we want to do, is we want to be helping them not only through the transaction, but be a resource kind of for life. So what do you think your biggest challenge, and, and you and I joke, but we're dead serious, no year gets easier for us. Mm -hmm. we, we're always talking about that, and we, we set the goals at the end of the year, and you're like, oh, I guess it's not getting any easier moving mm -hmm. forward. That That's how we approach it. But what would you say was your biggest challenge and I know that we're going to be talking to a lot of people today who are kind of stuck around that 12 transaction mark was was it hard for you to go from 12 to 36 yeah it was it was very hard that 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 jump was hard probably the hardest one there was cuz there's a change of mindset uh, if you ask my wife what kind of hours I work I work a lot and but I'm passionate and I love what I do so that makes it okay uh, but it's not only about the number of hours you work, which I think people get confused about, it's how strategic you are with your time. Um, so I'm very big into making sure that my calendar is very, very specific. And it seems that every year when I plan to do more, my calendar actually gets more specific. Uh, and so if you looked at my calendar right now, I uh, certainly this was on there, but you can start to see like where my morning is. And we'll, we'll post that for yeah. everybody. We'll, we'll put that up for everybody. So where my Take morning is, I have the time I set aside in the morning to then try to develop new business. Because if that's the hardest part about the business, and that's why I tell anyone trying to get in and really do it, is it's one thing to service business. And that's, that's the fun part. That's the easiest part. Uh, the hardest part is trying to find new business. And so that's, that's something that we spend a lot of time doing. And if you look at my schedule, it's front loaded. So I try to have a very good morning and then I try to get into the office and I do the hardest part of my day. And then from there, once noon hits, it's kind of like there's like a tidal wave that comes over with everybody in real estate. And it's like, now we're going to deal with everything else that needs to be done with today. But at least I have those core things about moving my business forward. Is there a, um, is there a magic pill? No, no, I wish there was. I absolutely wish there was. Um, well, actually, I, I, I mean, candidly, coming and working with you is it's kind of its own magic pill. Like, I tell people I all paid the time. them to say that. Yeah, of course. Uh, the <laughs> the important thing for me, like, I, I talk to agents all the time that have done it on their own, and that's that's profound to me. I don't know how they went from where they were to where they've been, because. It's hard, and there's a lot of things to learn throughout the way. And my ability to, you know, call a mentor up or call someone I knew up and ask the questions when you're frantic at 9 p.m. when you're writing an offer um, is is very very helpful. And in all honesty, best thing for your clients when you're early in the phases. So understanding that someone's there to help you out and push you through that that catapulted me like that. There's no doubt about that. Um, and. You know, one of the fun things as, as our team has grown, we get to have ideas and concepts from every different person that comes in. So it's kind of like every time you walk in the office, it's like you're kind of like plucking a little something yeah. out of something somebody else has done. And I, I like to think that some of the stuff that I've done, people can pluck and try to work with it. Um, video, for instance, like I started working with video and uh, people got excited about it because they saw that it was a natural way to communicate authenticity and and what you care about and what you do and help share knowledge in a very cool basis so you know you're doing stuff now and there's other people on the team like Zach and I know Tracy's on there Howard's working on a video now Tim's monstering over all that stuff like that kind of thing is cool so like the give and take and helping everybody like a rising tide raises all ships so I'm gonna take a couple of nuggets out of there so mm -hmm. for, for those that are watching and trying to figure out how to grow their business it's, it's hard to think about, but it, it, the couple of things I take away from you there is is authenticity. You genuinely care about the client. Mm -hmm. um, and correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, and as you try and go, as you try and level up, as we call it, for from 12 to 24, 36, or 100, um, you realize you have to tweak your own schedule a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that people 
um, get caught. My own experience is people get caught in the, well, what is John doing to get leads? You've already answered that. 80 to 90% of the business, for us anyway, is referral based. We don't, we don't pay for many leads on Zillow. I mean, we pay to have uh, $100 a month to get the leads off of our own listings. But uh, it's all referral based, but you're very strategic with that. And that's, that's something anybody can do. It's a relationship business. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's the key part of it. People want to work with someone they trust. And one of the things I do when I sit down with people for the very first time, one, I tell people them, I tell people to interview multiple agents. I've got videos on it telling it. And when someone sits down with me, one of the biggest things I stress, especially if they mention that they're interviewing multiple agents, I say, good, you should interview multiple agents and pick the one that you vibe and trust the most because you're about to go into a foxhole and you want someone that you know and trust. And if there's someone else that you meet that's more on your level that you're feeling, go with them. And I'm pumped for them. That's, that's probably the biggest mindset shift I've had is I just want the best for all buyers out there, which is why I've started to just create content and put it out there so anybody buying a home in Washington, D.C. can look at it. And that's it. That's it. You just genuinely have their best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. And if people want to reach out to me, of course I want to work with them. But if I can make it so someone that maybe is working with a less seasoned agent that has a question that ends up going on Google or YouTube and finds an answer that strategically helps them and they feel better and more comfortable and they can make a better decision, that's cool. And you know, maybe they'll refer me to their friend because I was the person that gave them the best information. Yeah, that's awesome. I had an example today, I hope you guys will appreciate and I know that you will. We had a client that uh, a tenant wanted, was living in their property that they wanted to sell and a tenant wanted to buy the property. And I looked at it and I ran the numbers for him and I said, look, here's the reality. That's a pretty good situation for you, seller. Mm -hmm. That's a great situation and I'm going to help you. And here's the contract, fill it out and you guys get the deal together. Well, I got an email today and, uh, you know, there's a lead from that right away. So mm -hmm. just coming from a good spot is how, how to grow the business. Why do you think people get stuck? Look at like somebody that's doing 12 deals or eight deals or six deals, new, old, whatever level in the business, age or how long you've been in the business. Why do people, I'm fascinated by, but people that just go like this. Mm -hmm. Some it's by design because of their life and family and kids, mm -hmm. but others genuinely are stuck. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do people get unstuck? I find that people try to do too much to change their business at one time. It can't be you read MREA or like one of those books and like you can implement everything all at the exact same time. You gotta have your base and then you gotta layer on. So like I tried open houses, I tried better open houses, I did this, I've tried doing multitude of different things but I never tried to do all of it too much. When I started to, I, I just use video a lot because it's on my head today, but like when I started to do video, the first thing I did was sit in front of my computer and record a really bad video and then the next one, I added text on it. And the next one, I tried to improve the sound a bit. And it's, you can take that to your business too. Like what can you do this week that's going to help you host a better open house to meet people? What are you gonna do to host uh, more people and get more people to meet with? Like there's great books and I, I found that if you focus on one thing, try to improve it and then hold on to that and then try to bring something else in is it's typically how I find it to work best. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that interview with John Coleman. It really is quite fascinating. It's a mindset game for him, and you can hear it in that interview. If you want more of that, we've got episode two with John Coleman coming up. All we need you to do is subscribe, and we'll send it to you. Thanks for watching.